Hi everyone, I'm Suzanne Cairns from Bayside Family Dentistry. Thanks for joining in again on the next video, Dentistry at Home During Isolation. So today I want to discuss a few more common occurrences that you might see during isolation that might come up. Um, broken teeth, broken tooth, broken teeth. If it's a simple um, little chip and it's not bothering you that much, um, we leave alone. That is nothing to worry about at all. If it's at the back of the mouth and nobody can see it, fair enough. If it's at the front of the mouth and, and people can see it, yes, it's a cosmetic issue to you. But uh, you, you, at this, in this day and age, during isolation, no, it will not warrant a dental emergency. Sorry, guys. Um, no, it's, it won't, we, we cannot see those patients. Um, if it, it is chipped and, and it's annoying the, the, the lip or the cheek or the tongue, then what you can do is, um, like I mentioned in my last video, you can use this dental orthodontic wax you can get from the supermarket or the chemist and you can literally just pop it on the edge of the tooth that's annoying you and it will, it will save it razoring against the flesh of the, of the lip of the tongue. Very quick and simple a little fix for that. Um, uh, I also said last video that you can also use, use some chewed up uh, chewing gum on the side of the tooth that will again act in the same way as the orthodontic wax. Um, what happens if the broken tooth is eliciting pain? Then yes, um, you can get these temporary dental filling kits um, online, plenty online from eBay. Um, they work as a temporary fix. Uh, guys, they are not a long term fix, but um, yes, for the short term, they are actually a great little product. Um, I'm going to show you with the model what they actually can do. Um, so I'm going to come up close and show you. I've got a cavity here in my little model. The temporary dental filling materials that you can buy online come in a, in a paste, um, a, a sticky paste form that you can see here. And with no dental expertise needed, you, it's just a vulgar push into the cavity to cover up the hole, just this one here. So I'm literally just going to push it in with my thumb and it doesn't have to be um, a lovely piece of artwork. And literally that is all that is required. Once the bottom tooth bites on that, it will mold into the shape needed. There you go. So that's all that is required. Let's plot it in and it'll take maybe um, one or two hours to fully to fully set and um, so you've got plenty of working time guys so there you go that is a great little tool to use for broken teeth that have cavities and um, for at home now just a word on temporary fixes they are literally just that they're temporary they are not a long-term um, um, solution uh, the tooth that has a cavity will certainly have decay in it and uh, these short-term fixes will buy you a little bit of time but long-term you will need to see your dentist for continuing care for a permanent restoration otherwise we're going to have uh, big problems, uh, pain and uh, further broken teeth. So do see your dentist after the, the isolation has been lifted to get these temporary fillings permanent fi permanently filled. Okay. Um, something that's loose like a loose crown uh, a loose bridge um, a loose implant crown personally i would i need i would like to see my patients for that um, sometimes a loose crown or bridge is not deemed painful there's nothing really troubling but obviously if it's loose there's something has gone wrong the cement has broken underneath or the cement has dissolved there's current decay um, maybe something has snapped in the apparatus in, 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 in the crown. Um, yes, something has gone wrong for that crown to become loose or bridge to become loose. So de definitely for my lovely patients, I would like to assess that. And it might just be a quick five minute appointment to get it re-glued in again, or the, if the implant crown is loose for it to be re-tightened. What we don't want is a small problem to becoming a, 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 an emergency later on down the line. Um, uh, so that's the, yes, that's that's what I would prefer to see my lovely patients. Um, with a um, with a, a crown that has actually fallen out, I also would like to see those patients as well. So, and what you can do is, uh, if if you have had work done recently, do call your dentist, speak to them on the phone, and ask their advice on this. Some actually might not want to see their lovely patients and might be able to nurse this along until in further notice. But uh, yes, do call your dentist and ask them personally um, what, what, what they would like, what they require 
um, for you to do during isolation. Um, very good. Broken dentures. Um, a little chip of a broken denture is again no big deal. Um, uh, again, I keep coming back to the ortho wax. This is great. You can use this for the, for the rough edge if it's annoying the cheek of the gum. Um, if it's uh, a little bit more of a chip, you can actually use a, a nail file. It's obviously a non-dental treatment here, um, not recommended, but um, a little little emery board on, 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 the, on the edge of the denture um, can just take that sharpness away and, and, and then that should be all that you need. Um, if you have a denture, um, an acrylic denture that has snapped, um, a clean break, maybe in just two in, in, in two pieces. You can use um, you can actually use denture adhesive cream um, on the two broken pieces on the palette. This this adhesive cream will not glue the two broken pieces back together again, but it will certainly um, um, stick them to the palette. Um, again, again, just a short fix, guys. Nothing nothing long term about what I'm recommending. Um, but this will certainly um, buy you a bit of time. Um, again, if you have any questions, a bit unsure, or if I've left anything out today, um, leave me a comment um, below, uh, email me on, on um, info at familydentistry.com.au or contact your own dentist for further guidance. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching me again and um, if there's anything like I say anything that you'd like me to cover do drop me a line and we can certainly do another video. Um, in the meantime stay safe everyone, hope you're well and we will see you once the uh, isolation has, has lifted and we can all get back to normal again. Take care.